Hi. Hi guys, my name is Mel. I am back on YouTube, I'm going to be starting a new journey with you on my channel, and it's gonna be all about pottery. It's been about a year, probably closer to two years, since I last uploaded on my YouTube. I really miss it, and so I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to come back and share my new passions with you guys on my channel. I recently bought a mini pottery wheel and I thought it'd be really fun to unbox this together and see what's inside and then maybe throw some little mini pieces as we just catch up. Here it is. I'm gonna bust it wide open and see how this looks. How are you guys? Um, me, I'm doing so great. I am living in San Francisco now and I think a few years ago I uploaded a vlog about me moving from Seattle. I moved to SF two years ago and I have been living here, working here and started ceramics a year and a half ago. So I've been selling things. I have my own small business and I've been wheel throwing a lot. I go to a community studio and I never get to do anything at home in the comfort of my house. So I'm really excited to have a little like mini, mini wheel to do at home. Wow, I have a whole freaking kit. There's a wooden rib, wire tool, a wooden knife, some trimming tools, a needle tool, a sponge, and a metal rib. So these are basic tools that I use at the studio all the time. So it's actually really helpful to have a set at home. Yay! What else is in this bad boy? I ordered the blue one. This was on Amazon for, I think, $40. Oh my god, so cute. Ah, this is so dope. Wow, 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 wow. So this is the Weber brand. It looks like it comes with three wheel heads. We have a large one, a medium one, and then a small one here. There's the on and off switch here. I believe this is the speed knob. There's the plug here. Oh, another trimming tool. All these little tiny gadgets that look like dentist tools. I don't even know. I've never used these in my life. I'm gonna take off all my jewelry and get started. Okay, let's turn it on. Oh wow. Because I'm right-handed, I want it to go counterclockwise. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm gonna try this big wheel head first. So let's just see how this goes. This is my clay. I'm just gonna use like the smallest amount right now. In my hand. I have my bucket of water here and I have a sponge. <laughs> Move it into the center. Usually beat the wheel up. Let's just go full speed. Okay, so first things first. Shit's splashing everywhere because there's no splash pan, but first impression is splashing everywhere. And it is slowing down a little bit once I apply pressure, but I'm gonna get a cardboard box so that it doesn't splash all over my living room. So first thing I'm gonna do is center this bad boy. This is so fun. Look at that, it's centered. Okay, I'm gonna open it up now. I can't talk and do this, this is crazy. Um, what should I make? Okay, maybe I'll slow it down. This... Ah! Slowing it down. Okay, it's just getting crazy. What the fuck? I have to use a really gentle hand. Wow, I'm like not speaking at all. I don't know if I can do this. I'm gonna make a low pull. What was I talking about? I made a tiny little bowl. As you can see, if I apply a, pro a lot of pressure, it just stops, but helps a little bit. Cool, cool, cool. Let's try again. Um, okay, so anyway, as I was saying, I started doing ceramics about a year and a half ago. It started kind of as a hobby just for funsies. I took a tri-day class and I basically fell in love in that one session. I ended up taking a intro class and then a next steps class and then i just became a member ever since i've been selling pieces at markets and i've been teaching intro classes at the same studio that i learned from and selling online as well yesterday i had a market and it was really fun because i got to be with my clay 
studio community and it's always just fun to work alongside the people that I see every day kind of working on their own craft as well. Something on my channel that I've been sharing a lot about is my journey to find out like what I want to do in my life and what my passions are and how I can kind of get there and just sharing the struggles of that experience. I think I can finally say in my life this is the first time where I feel confident in doing what I actually enjoy and being able to like share it with the world um, has been like really scary but something that has always held me back for so long. Now I'm at a point in my life where I just feel like I don't care anymore. I'm still working a day job that, you know, isn't my passion, but what I do appreciate about it is that it helps me have the flexibility in my day to do what I am passionate about, which is my ceramics. My goals for this journey, I would say, is that I hope to just continue selling and sharing my passions with other people, hopefully continue teaching others, whether that's in person or online on my Instagram or TikTok or wherever. I wanna be able to do this full time also. So I wanna find different avenues where I can sell my work, um, whether that's like in person or meeting people to do wholesale orders, online orders. I think the downsides of this is that it's really hard because it's very physically taxing and very time consuming. It's not something that you can just like mass produce. Each piece can take weeks to really finish with the right avenues and making the right connections. It's possible. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this. This is our dog that we're dog sitting. This is crazy. Anyway, okay, so let's wrap this up then. I'm gonna finish this piece right quick and then I will play with Sasha. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna trim this off. <laughs> this is dangerous because I'm gonna want a dog. Okay, Dope. this is my little bowl. Slide this bitch off. My tiny little bowl. Very cute. All right, that was chaotic, but thank you guys for joining me on my journey to what I'm calling Mal's Monday Minis, where I make mini videos of mini things on my mini pottery wheel. <laughs> so excited. We'll see how this goes, but hopefully it'll get better each time. Okay, I'm gonna go play with Sasha now, so I'll see you guys later, bye! Go, Sasha. <laughs> Hi, baby. Okay, bye, say bye. Bye! Bye! <laughs>